So can you tell us what we're doing today in the woods? What we're doing today in the woods, we've actually been out here sort of 24 hours already with Chafford 100 Campus. Okay, and what they're doing, they're actually doing it as part of their COPE programme where they're uh, coming out and they're actually um, experiencing kind of an overnight, they, they're actually doing a kind of outdoor skill session, sort of survival, kind of wilderness living. Um, we're showing them how to build shelters, natural shelters, how to make fire. And then later on we give them little tasks of boiling water in plastic bottles and stuff like that. So they've got to kind of work as a team. It's a little bit of science to it and, and that kind of stuff. They, they make bread, we make basic bannet bread, really easy kind of stuff. Um, and then they do, they've got kind of little night exercises that we do which they seem to really enjoy. That's mainly like the, um, like the hide and seek kind of run out stuff. But it's kind of like a, a Native American kind of edge to it originally apparently. But it's, it's kind of good fun, they love it. And then today's session, or today what they've done, they obviously spent, obviously all their tent, their, 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 not the tents, but the bashes that they slept in are all down now. But what happened was the, um, the, they slept in them last night, packed all their kit away, and then we've gone out and we've done hunting and snaring and showed them how to put up snares and stuff like that. You saw them mucking around with the catapults. And then, it's quite um, an intense course, isn't it? Because they're having to camp without tents. And, and I think it is, yeah, because it's kind of, I think, what was what's really hard I think for for some of them I think stuff that I might take for granted of, of doing it all as a young person myself being out you know we go camping we was in army cadets scouts cubs whatever it is we was kind of out doing it a lot it's kind of surprising in this day and age where sort of young people don't seem to either get the opportunity or maybe they just haven't got the education for whatever way from parents whatever to actually come out here and, and have a go of it. So I kind of think like that's where I kind of feel the gap of, you know, again, we, we encourage people with Duke Venema as a wall and, and just getting out here and just sort of enjoying themselves for what it is. You know, we don't, there's no pressure. There's, you know, when you, you saw from the catapulting, there's no real, it's just a bit of fun. Stuff that kind of, that, that's kind of forgotten really, you know what I mean? And, 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 and all we're trying to do is kind of ignite some of, the, some of those skills and hopefully it might even increase a bit of wanderlust in them to maybe go and do a little bit more, you know, a little bit about nature, go and look out for foxes. It's really surprising now certain young people have not even seen a squirrel before, you know, things like that. So when they come out here and this place is full of them, it's like, it's like wow, wow, you know, the squirrels, the pigeons and, and all that kind of stuff that they don't really sort of see in, the, in their little concrete. Because I get a bigger city. appreciation because we're doing the water and you, you sort of take it all for granted, don't you? And coming out here, you realise. Yeah, I, I think I think we kind of all do that, and I think even even over the years, from through studying it and, and you know for all the number of years we've been doing it, even just looking down at food and you know how our diets have changed. I mean, even I'm kind of on it all the time, looking at you know trying to lose weight and or be fitter and, and all this kind of stuff. You you kind of. I think you do kind of take it for granted and it isn't, it isn't until you actually get out here and start to see what it's actually like, you know, sort of physically how your body reacts to everything and, and what it's like to be without water and, and it's not a nice feeling is it, you know what I mean, so it's kind of, it's good in that respect that, that we just educate them, open their eyes a little bit more to, to stuff that maybe they're a little bit kind of unaware of or, or and even sometimes, even when we are teaching it's sort of, and, and, you, and, you, and you might go away and, and again you, you, you kind of finish a course you can always no matter how, how small it is as well you, you kind of find that a lot of these are teachers as well in their own little right you can always kind of pick up little bits of information from them and no matter how, how minuscule it is we had one lad last night that was right into folk music and it was kind of folk music that he's, that he's I don't know that his dad or his granddad was into you know that kind of thing and it's like wow you know and it, it Gary, Gary was having a real big conversation with him about hurdy gurdies and, and you know this kind of stuff and really good. So it's great and you can really kind of learn something from the from the young people in just the way they are as characters themselves. So yeah, it's, it's that really is like a positive activity for young people. Well, we uh, we like to think so. We like we do like to think so. I mean, you know, it's, it's good. I think I think anything's positive as long as they're coming out here and they're having fun and they and it's. It, it, it just um, kind of breaks the, the sort of mundane stuff that they're kind of doing all the time without sounding kind of, you know. And it's just great that the kids can get out here, young people can get out here and just have a bit of fun. It's stuff that 
that kind of it's it's just activities that not a lot of people are not getting the opportunity to do anymore you know and you're providing people. them and that's what we're trying to do you know we're, we're, we're trying to do that out here you know what i mean so it's so, i mean they all seem to be having a laugh and and even when we've had the courses i mean fortunate enough we've been blessed with the weather the last couple of days um so everything's been good all the techniques the fire lighting that they've done has all gone pretty much straight away it's, it's been good that um that we've that with the uh, the weather we've had, but even when we've had the weather when it's been rather inclement, we have been out here when it's been, you know, a couple of days where it's been really rainy, but we've got the facilities and stuff to kind of keep them sort of well looked after, and they all seem to go away with, with a smile on their face. And, and, and at the end, that's what it's all about. You, know, you can hear them all laughing in the background and having a, having a laugh, so that's the main thing. Yeah.